was awesome! Hi there, my name is Jay, and here's what happened this week in Hearthstone. What a rough week in Hearthstone, but let's get into the news with empathy, respect, and positivity, shall we? First up, and I'm excited about this, today's video is sponsored by Leroy's Chicken Shack. Try their new Leroy Raid Meal for just $3.99. Now serving at their locations in Elwyn Forest and the Arathi Highlands, and look out for the Booty Bay Kiosk opening up in summer of 2024. So, the good news is, Hearthstone Esports is back. That's right, this week the team announced that we will be seeing Hearthstone Esports this year. But the not so great news is the events are pared down a little bit, there is no Battlegrounds event this year. For the Masters Tour, there will be a Spring Championship, a summer championship, and then a world championship. Each Masters Tour will have a $50,000 prize pool, and the championship will be a $350,000 prize pool. Now, it's nothing to scoff at, absolutely. I'm excited we'll actually get to see Hearthstone Esports in 2024. Um, not many people were expecting that there would be anything offered this year, but they did also pare this down. They also said that there was no Battlegrounds Lobby Legends this year as they wanted to focus on the Hearthstone esports and they wanted to be all about the core esports experience. So while we have a little bit still of Hearthstone esports this year, there's much more happening in the community if you wanna scratch that competitive itch. I've been talking throughout 2023 about the tournaments run through the community like Mobius, THL, the HSBG Club, and others. I need all of you right now to let me know in the comments if you want me to put more emphasis on the channel announcing all the tournaments that are happening um, just to make sure whether it's traditional Hearthstone or it's Battlegrounds or just something fun or cool. Let me know in the comments if this is something you want and I will make it happen. I'm also working on getting some of the great organizations I'm showing here um, on the channel to swing by and have an interview, so stay tuned. Now. If you watch every video I post, and I thank you for that, I added a video this week talking about the layoffs at Riot that happened earlier in the week. I referenced in the last time we had a Hearthstone-related uh, layoff situation. I think it was September of 2023. I never expected that I would need to talk about another round of Hearthstone layoffs or Blizzard layoffs this week. So yesterday, Microsoft laid off 1,900 employees. This has been an absolute horrendous year for game devs, losing their livelihoods in 2024, and it's only January. While we do not know all of the specifics, we do know that the Hearthstone team was impacted a little bit, and all those wonderful Hearthstone team members that left the team to work on that unannounced survival game were all let go yesterday as well. They scrapped that unannounced game. While I am not shocked that these were layoffs and there were layoffs that were going to happen because merged companies normally do this, um, consolidate teams and consolidate roles all the time. This actually impacted me um, a couple of years back. So I, I will say this, it still sucks. And then for those laid off, those still at the company, it's just gross because now they're dealing with it as well. I'm going to say this again. As a community, let's come together and show our support for those who find themselves at that crossroads. Job instability is a shared fear and no one should have to navigate these challenges alone. I hope that the affected individuals can find themselves the strength and the outpouring of support that we have from the gaming community as a whole and that moving forward, we can help work towards embracing an industry where job security is not a luxury, but a standard. I also have to post this each time when negative news comes out for Hearthstone. This is not a dead game. The devs yesterday mentioned on social media that they're working on some really cool Hearthstone stuff this year, and saying that Hearthstone is dying is just like drinking tall glasses of warm haterade in a dimly lit room, wondering why your DoorDash order of the bean burritos are late. It's gonna be fine. So let's get positive for a minute. To end out this episode, look at all of the cool things that we have to look forward to in 2024. Number one, we get Hearthstone Esports, and a lot of us were thinking that this was not going to be the case a few months back. So this is really cool. We'll get to watch Hearthstone Esports this year. 
Number two, the 10th anniversary of Hearthstone is this year. We already know that World of Warcraft has an event tied to this anniversary. Uh, we have no idea what other surprises are in store for us. And listen, we have the new expansions that are coming up, the new mini sets that are coming up. There should be a core set refresh. We also have the new twist format. Um, being only able to use common cards in decks sounds very fun and refreshing. It'll be very interested uh, to see how it's gonna work. And it starts up in just a couple of days, February 1st, I believe. And listen, that's just the stuff that we know about. There's, there's probably a lot of cool stuff that they're working on. We might even see in 2024. So be positive, everybody. That's it for this week in Hearthstone. Please like and subscribe if you are a fan of what I'm doing here and be awesome to each other. I will see you in the next video.